How people treat you in the modern workplace has nothing to do with the color of your skin. What it has everything to do with is how you work. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. All right, I'm going to talk about something that is going to ruffle a lot of people's feathers. And I tell you what, I don't give a shit. That's what I'm going to be here to do. Today, we're going to talk about race in the workplace and why in today's modern world, using your minority status as an excuse is straight up nonsense. All right, here's the deal. Race has no impact on your success anymore. In fact, if anything, being a minority might even work in your favor with all the diversity initiatives out there. So if you're still blaming racism for holding you back, you're not just wrong. You're letting yourself off the hook. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah. Racism can still exist in pockets, but it's not the roadblock it used to be. In today's workplace, if you've got the skills and the work ethic, no one's going to care what color you are. What matters is your performance. We live in a time where diversity is encouraged, and if anything, being a minority probably gives you an edge. Companies are actively looking to hire diverse candidates, so using race as an excuse? Come on, it's 2024. Those days are gone. If you're not getting where you want to be, it's not because of your race. It's because you're not pushing hard enough. Too many people get caught up in blaming external factors instead of looking at their own efforts. Here's the irony. Being a minority today might actually be, and in most cases probably is, an advantage. With all the diversity and inclusion initiatives, companies are looking for candidates from different backgrounds. They're trying to meet quotas and diversify their teams. So if you're a minority, chances are you've got more opportunities, not fewer. It's not the 1950s anymore, where race actually did hold people back. Things have flipped. Now, that's not to say that you're guaranteed success because of your race. You still have to perform. But to act like being a minority is some massive disadvantage in today's job market? Come on. That is just not true. Recognize the opportunities that you have and stop using your race as an excuse. Let me share a personal experience with you. When I worked in the oil field, I found myself in a weird spot. I was too dark to sit with the white guys and too light to sit with the black guys. So during lunch breaks, I ended up sitting with a bunch of stoners who just didn't care about these divisions. No one thought of this as racism. It was more about self-segregation among the workers. People naturally grouped themselves, but it wasn't a systemic issue. It was just how things played out among the workers themselves. This experience made it clear to me that while these divisions might seem significant, they're often more about personal choices and self-segregation than about systemic racism. And in the end, it wasn't about race stopping me from fitting in with a group of people. It was about individuals creating their own divides. And I didn't let that stop me from doing my job or succeeding. I have had people question my work ethic. They did not question me because I'm a minority. They questioned me because I took twice the length of a break that I was supposed to take. I've been congratulated for my work ethic. It had nothing to do with the fact that I was a minority or that my coworker was darker or lighter than me. Here's the hard truth. Blaming race for your setbacks is just a lazy excuse. If you're falling short, don't blame your skin color. In today's competitive environment, the only thing that matters is whether you're adding value. Companies don't care about your race if you're delivering results. Blaming your race is just a way to avoid your own personal accountability. I've seen it myself. People who coast on their minority status thinking the world owes them something. Newsflash, it doesn't. The workplace is competitive for everyone. If you're not making the grade, it's not because of racism. It's because you haven't put in the work. Diversity hiring is real, and it's something that you can leverage. Companies are looking to bring in diverse talent. If you've got the skills and you're a minority, that's an opportunity that you should take advantage of. But don't rely on it. You still need to prove yourself and show that you're the best at what you do. Instead of complaining about racism or unfair treatment, focus on becoming so exceptional that no one can deny you. Make yourself indispensable. That's how you break through the barriers, by being the best, not by using race as a shield. Here's the truth that a lot of people don't want to hear. Your success is on you. 
not your skin color, not your background, you. If you're not where you want to be, don't blame external factors. Own your grind, put in the work, and be the best at what you do. The moment you take responsibility for your success is the moment you stop being a victim and start being empowered and unstoppable. Race might get you in the door thanks to diversity initiatives, but once you're there, you've got to prove yourself. You want respect? Earn it. You want success? Work for it. And stop waiting for the world to hand it to you just because you're a minority. The more you focus on what you can control, the more successful that you will be. My challenge to you is simple. Stop blaming race for your failures and start taking control of your own destiny. In today's workplace, no one's holding you back because of your skin color. If anything, being a minority is more likely to give you a boost. So stop playing the victim and start playing the game. Be smarter, outwork, outperform, and outshine everyone else. And don't rely on your race to carry you. Race isn't a barrier anymore. It's an opportunity. It's up to you to decide whether you're going to use that opportunity to push yourself forward or let it become an excuse for staying behind. That's it for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think that race is still an issue in the workplace or are we past that? I think it's 2024. The society as a whole has moved on beyond these basic barriers, and I just don't see it as being that big of an issue that everybody wants to make it out to be. Um, as always, I've been your host, Antonio. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Have a good one.